science, there is not always a clear and concise answer. Decisions must be calculated, and proposals take a great deal of thought before they reach the experimental stage. To better understand the geology of Carlsbad Cavern, it has been proposed that a core sample be taken from the heart of a famous formation known as the Texas Toothpick. Two scientists are faced with a dilemma. Though the cave may contain secrets not yet fully understood, there will be a cost. There is no doubt that the formation will be damaged in the process. Will the damage be worth it? Perhaps these scientists will come to their conclusion today. Here, take a look at this. You can actually see the rings in the formation if you look closely. Let me see. You were right. They are like the rings on a tree. I can see why there's so many theories that this could be used for climate change. You're getting the implications of it. So just like some scientists can use tree rings or sediment samples to get more recent climate data, or we can use ice core samples to go back thousands of years, then maybe we could use even larger rock formations to go back even further than that. Maybe even past ice ages. After all, we only have estimations on the ages of these formations. You're getting it. We could get the past climate data for inside the cave, and that would tell us about the past climate data for the surface, potentially. And we could use that past climate data to be able to look at the future of climate data by learning about the past we can see into our future. Correct. Here, take a look at this. This is the formation that we're looking about taking a core sample from, the Texas toothpick. I've even got a little sketch that shows growth of the formation, just to help highlight how you'd be able to see the layers forming. So, based on my understanding, you want to drill into the base of the formation, nearly all three meters of it. That way you can see portions of the layers of growth like you can on these smaller formations. It would only be a portion of the bigger picture, but by taking something from the center, you could still get an idea of the layers over the years. Exactly. See, the darker rings would represent the periods of time where there was more growth, and then these lighter rings would be the layers where there was less growth in the cave. Now, if our theories are correct, these should let correlate to previous ice ages when the cave got a lot more water than usual. I'm familiar with these examples. The dark portions of the ice cores represent heavy snowfall, and the thicker tree rings show examples of heavy rainfall. The thinner layers of each show little rain or snowfall. You're proposing that the core samples themselves could be the link to past climates, especially in places where we don't have the luxury of giant trees or thick layers of ice or sediment in bodies of water. Precisely. However, it does bring up one question. Ask away. It's important we're on the same page. Is it going to be worth it? You mean the drilling into the rock for the core sample? I think so. Do you? Truthfully, aging broken formations, you know, that, that makes sense. But maybe it's just my instincts as a caver kicking in. I just, maybe this breaks a rule of conservation. Well, you're not wrong. Okay, sometimes in science we do have to make some sacrifices and some tough calls have to be made. But I'm confident once the scientists at Carlsbad Caverns National Park sees our proposal that they'll be on board with it. I mean, after all, even the appreciation of the caves is at odds with its conservation, right? You make a good point, as always. And we could use the study on multiple levels of, of fields of study and, and you could use the core for multiple studies and and it would help us understand the modern world even more in the future. All right, I'm on board. Excellent, I knew you would see the logic of it. Since you're on board though, I could use some help proofreading the proposal if you got time. I knew you called me in here for something else. You owe me. Oh, thank you, I really appreciate this. The proposed study was accepted by Carlsbad Caverns National Park. 
One core sample was taken from the Georgia Giant in 1982, and two more were taken from the Texas Toothpick in 1983. However, scientific technology and the methods used to age the samples were behind the times. It would not be until the 21st century that these methods were updated. Scientists were then finally able to decipher the core sample's complex data, and the park now has a better understanding of past climate change.